Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker here. I don't know if y'all can see this, but uh, it's January in Iowa and it is snowing. So what do you do? What do you do on a day like this? Well, you go to Baxter Cycle, of course. Well, let's go inside and see what we got here. Help wanted. Anybody uh, looking for work? Give these guys a call. Coming in the door, this is the Royal Enfield section. And of course the parts and clothing and all that neat stuff is in here too. 350 Classics, Meteors, Interceptors, Continental GTs. Okay, over here is clothing, um, jackets, gloves, light clothing, neat stuff. Cardungla, 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 Cardungla jacket. That's what I've got. Anyway, walking over this way, more shirts, more gloves, Royal Enfield shoes, Royal Enfield uh, branded gloves, backpacks. Motorcycles, of course, they just kind of soak this in, isn't this kind of cool? Whole slew of parts and shop shirts and things like that up yonder. Side covers, vintage signs. My favorite color of uh, GT right there. Hats, bags, again, more signage. This is the parts counter over here. That's the brains over yonder. Stepping over here, more clothing. They just opened this section up over here. Uh, Royal Enfield, everything here. Check that out. Y'all might recognize that tank right there, huh? <laughs> anyway, these are kind of new here, by the way. They just got these in. These are bags that are back. This, this is a backpack, yeah, but uh, I think they are made so you can also attach them to your bike if you have the racks. So like this, yeah, see how the back is on that? But uh, anyway, more shirts. Uh, over here, we've got some, oh, this is kind of cool, taillights for your, uh, I mean, look, look at these. So if you've got a uh, Continental GT or an Interceptor or, well, probably any of the bikes, look, look at that. Isn't that neat? License plate light and everything built in. Just uh, very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And here's more handlebar wraps or uh, grip tape, I mean, bar ends, wider foot pegs tank sides oh wow those are leather glue those to the side of your tank like that tank bags okay uh, over here is helmets Showa helmets if uh, you want to get me one this is the one I want right here gorgeous huh coming over here more interceptor and Continental GT parts these are the Zard pipes the SNS pipes slip on tech pipe slip-ons. Uh, they're also getting a new SNS system that's a two-to-one system. Fairings. That's an MK design, I think. All kinds of neat stuff here, huh? Seats. These are uh, classics again right here. But let's focus on the uh, gear. Check that out. This is all inner... Oh, look at that pipe. I haven't seen that one before. That's really neat. Check that out. Well, it's in the interception, interceptor section. These are covers, engine covers, side covers, different options for that. Uh, rear end shorty kit, light covers. I like it. This is Himalayan over here. Check that out. Isn't that something? I need that for my bike, the bigger rack. Waterproof bags, hard bags. Me gusta, me gusta mucho. Okay. Scram 411s. Oh, gotta show you this. This is all new too. Um, so these are the uh, skin soft, skin shift products. These attach to your uh, side covers and give you that side pouch. We'll look at one of those over there. It was on that uh, kind of little GT over. These are new ones that they got in. I don't know what brand these are, but uh, these replace your side cover. And. Uh, see if we can find a brand time machine time warp time I can't read sorry guys my eyes are old but uh, go to BaxterCycle.com you can check those out anyway more interceptors more shirts check that out isn't that neat hey look at that have you all seen a bike like that before <laughs> all right uh, let's jump over here and look at this this is the one I put the Zard pipes on. It's got the side pouch on it. This is handlebar tape or uh, grip tape that they're gonna put on here. And this is a cover that they're gonna put, they're gonna put a different lens on here and 
put this over the top. That's going to be really nice. Very nice. I like it. But look at all the minutia on this one. All the little details. I'm pushing for a different rear end on it. I think it should have different tail left. Hey, we got some of those over yonder. Okay. Boss guy right there. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's run down this alley here. This is the parts section. This is antique motorcycle parts through here. And uh, this is just one little building. One little section. And we'll just stick our head in here. Look at that. Triton. Triumph over yonder. I don't know what that is. What this is a classic motorcycle shop or one of them anyway. And we'll stick our head in here. The shops are probably not cleaned up, but uh, oh look at that. That is new. I have not seen that one. Well, that's a 500, isn't it? Yes, that is. That is gorgeous. Look at the color, y'all. It's got the silver or the gray and then this uh, kind of a powdery blue. Wow, that is sharp, sharp. A couple of Tigers, this is a brand new Tiger 900. A friend of mine just bought that. So running back a little farther, check that out. So for years I came here and I did not know about this hallway or this back section. For years I stayed in the front. And I was here with a friend one day, and he said, well, what about the back? And uh, so we thought, we, I thought we were sneaking back here. But actually, this is open to the public. So this is the vintage motorcycle area. We've done a lot of videos back here. If you look at the uh, Throwback Thursday videos, you'll see a lot of bikes that are in here. And they just got a new batch in the other day, so they're pretty full up. Uh, old Norton, Norton, Triumph. I can't remember what these are. If they don't say, I don't know. I'm not an expert on these, but uh, all I do know, it is beautiful. But check this out. It's just So how are these arranged? Okay, these are the bikes that have just came in right here. This row here, that's, that's an old Honda, but this row here is the uh, Triumphs. Then we've got some BSAs. They just sold one of these, a sister to this one. Another Trident, two of them here. Then we go to Norton. Whole slew of Nortons. By the way, the whole top of this is full of parts behind those walls. Parts here. There's a machine shop back there. Uh, coming over here. These are all Triumphs. Again, this row here. I think this almost this whole row is Triumphs. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, I think that one just came in. Anyway, so a whole row of Triumphs. I know this one just came in. Isn't that gorgeous? We'll do some videos on these. Uh, these are the like late 70s Triumphs, and I really want to get more information and do some videos on these. And then over here we've got a couple aerials. These are like the 500 Triumphs, the uh, Daytonas and things like that. Then we jump over to BSA Alley. So what's really cool about here, those of you that know will recognize that. We only made a dozen of these. They were all prototype bikes. I did a video on one of these a long time ago on this particular one. This is bike number one, by the way, prototype number one. And it, uh, at one time it ran. Uh, so 1971 BSA Fury 350, not for sale. Just a beautiful bike. And then here is a Gold Star, the 500, you know, the one everybody talks about, the 500 Gold Star. So then going over here, uh, we'll come back to this. You know, BSA Alley again, like I said. Jumping back here, race bikes, back in the corner, uh, old Triumphs, this is an old Indian, you know, just a minutia of all, you know, a whole mess of old bikes. This here is one of my favorites. This is a Royal Enfield 250, and uh, next summer we're going to do everything we can to get them to get us, get that bike out so we can run it, because that is a real piece of art. This bike here is on my list. I want to do a Throwback Thursday with it. Just haven't got to it, and it's so unique. It's I think it's a 48 or a 46, but it's there's a real divide between the uh, technology of that bike and the uh, technology of let's say the bike next to it, or even that bike. There, you know, there's really a, a big difference in that. And over here is an Aerial Four, Square Four, with bags. Again, not for sale, but uh, y'all have caught this before. Look at the gas tanks on the wall. 
all over the hundreds of them. And uh, just to throw this in, Baxter Cycle has, this is one building, Baxter Cycle has half a dozen buildings in this town, just chock full of these old British motorcycle parts. And if you are in need of an old motorcycle part for your old British bike or project, these guys, if they don't have it, you probably can't find it. They did, they're just so complete. Baxter Cycle, BaxterCycle.com right there. All right, so then walking out of here, that door goes to one of the shops. This door goes to the machine shop. This is the door we came through. Now let's see what we have outside. Now check this out. Changed a little out here, hasn't it? That's Iowa for you. A little bit of snow. This is the Triumph building, the heart of the modern Triumph motorcycle building. Most important thing to know about this area is the coffee is over here. So good to know, right? Helmets, whole string of the coolest, fastest, neatest motorcycles in the world right there. I mean, uh, everything from uh, the Trident to the Street Triple to the uh, Speed Triples to the Speed Triple RRs. Aren't those just beautiful? The 660 Tiger Sports. Over here is the classic bike sections. Modern classics, I'm sorry. Street Masters, Speed Masters, Bonnevilles, T120s, Thruxtons, Street Twins. The beautiful, one of my favorite bikes right now. Look at that. Meriden Blue and Tangerine Orange T100. Uh, these are the big rockets right here, a whole slew of these. Then over here are the Tigers, and that's one of the used Tigers. Well, let's jump over here. Scramblers, a whole row of Scramblers, the 1200s and the 900s, just gorgeous. I absolutely love that bike. These are the new 1200s, and these, uh, this is amazing to see them sitting here because these bikes come in and go out usually on the same day. But uh, isn't that just gorgeous? These are the new, the brand spanking new 1200s, 2023 just gorgeous. I think this is the one that we actually, one of these, we did a video on the other day. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. And then here are the 900s. And this has got to be one of my all-time favorite motorcycles right now. This one right here. Let's jump around and get a look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't remember what that color is. Sandstone or something like that. This is a Tiger Rally Pro. It's got the 21 inch wheel, the 900 motor, 888, the triple eight they call it, but uh, just a beautiful bike. So this is Triumph gear, all kinds of, you know, hey look, used bikes. Uh, more of that over here, more again that wall over there, accessories and things like that over there. The top row is every decade from the beginning to the, about the present, I don't know the years, this is probably 70, 80, 90, 2000. So if that's 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and then 10, teen. That's really quite a deal, isn't it? Quite a deal. Then back in there is a the shop area. That's, uh, I've done some videos out of there, pretty neat. But uh, anyway, so this is, this is Baxter Cycle, Baxter Cycle's Triumph section. Of course, the other one is the Royal Enfield section and the classic bike section. If you all are in need of anything like this, new or used, get a hold of these guys. Ask for Randy or Jeremy or Mark and tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, if it's not snowing out where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!